Okay, so day two of school lunch and breakfast, actually. So today we snagged a breakfast box, which had in a muffin and some apple juice, milk, and a cheese stick, along with a piece of fruit. And our um, lunch today was a sandwich. And let's see what kind of meat they gave us. So there's American cheese and salami and some carrots. So what I'm gonna do with them is I am going to set aside for now the juice and the carrots and the orange. And we're gonna go ahead and use these three ingredients to transform the lunch from just a basic sandwich and cheese stick into a Monte Cristo. So a Monte Cristo sandwich typically has ham and Swiss, um, but we're gonna go ahead and just use what we have, which is what is inside the sandwich, and that's salami and cheese. So we're gonna choose mayonnaise and mustard for condiments to spread inside. Most people have this in their kitchen. If you don't, you could simply just go ahead and use one or the other if you did not like mayonnaise or mustard. So you don't have to add the mayonnaise in it, but it will add some nice moisture into the inside of the bread. And you don't have to add mustard, but it will add a little bit of interest or zip to it. Now, if you didn't have regular uh, mustard, you could use some Dijon mustard uh, here. Uh, I'm gonna use mayonnaise on one side of the bread and I'm gonna put it on fairly generously. And then I'm gonna go ahead and the other side of the bread Put on just a small amount of mustard, okay, a little bit, um, because my son will probably eat this and he does not care for mustard. So he doesn't even know what's in there, we won't even tell him. All right, so once I put a little bit of mayonnaise on one side, a little bit of mustard on the other, I'm gonna go ahead and take my cheese stick because I would like extra cheese. So open that up and I'm going to create the strings. So I wanna get it nice and stringy. This is gonna help it melt inside the sandwich. So rather than having to shred it on a box grater, we put it inside. Now, if you had some extra Parmesan in your refrigerator, a shaker of Parmesan, you can put some Parmesan in there. Uh, if you did had, have Swiss cheese, you could add Swiss cheese to this. If you had more types of meat, you could add in the meat. And I know this looks like a lot, but we want it nice and cheesy and gooey. If you do not want it nice and cheesy and gooey, you don't have to put that much cheese in. And we're gonna close it up and we're gonna really press it down. So I'm gonna use the same dish that I'm gonna make my egg mixture in and I'm gonna press with all my might the sandwich down. So I wanna kind of flatten the sandwich. Okay, make it into a pancake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make just a simple custard. So this is our first step into making uh, a simple custard. It leads us into all different types of things like vanilla sauce, ice cream base, vanilla pudding, creme brulee, creme caramel. But this is the very basic, basic custard. So I'm taking my milk now, ideally you would wanna use milk that has a little bit more fat in it, but that's not what we gave, what they gave us in school. So we're gonna use what we've got, and I'm going to use one fourth cup of milk. And here again, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the line when I measure, making sure that I'm at level on a stable countertop, and then adding it into my egg mixture. So I've got that in my egg mixture. My one egg that I've already cracked in, and I'm gonna crack some pepper. You can shake some pepper in. I'm gonna sprinkle in some salt, anything you want. If you have some herbs, uh, if you have a little garlic powder and you wanna add it in, if you have some mustard powder, you can add that into this base. And that's it, I'm simply gonna whisk this around. Now, if you've made French toast at home, you've also made a custard. And simple as that, you're making a soaking liquid. If you watched my video on the microwave bread pudding, we're not gonna be using the microwave today. We are gonna be using uh, the stove top. 
So please make sure that you have permission to do that if you do attempt this with your school lunch. Um, but we are using the stove top to heat it up. But it's basically like making a French toast, but a savory French toast. So we're using our deli meats inside and our cheeses to go ahead and fry this up. So we whisk it all together. That's a pretty cool whisk, right? I have lots of gadgets. I like gadgets. Okay. And once I whisk that nice and smooth, that is all my batter is. I'm simply going to put my bread mixture in and I'm going to let it soak on each side for a few minutes so that it can go ahead and absorb a lot of this egg mixture. So one egg for an entire sandwich, um, give or take the milk. If you want it a little bit richer, you can maybe only do uh, two tablespoons of milk instead of a quarter cup and really press on that to get that bread absorbed. So we're gonna do that on the first side for a few minutes, and then you're gonna flip it over and do it on the second side. Always remembering about sanitation. So I'm working on a clean surface. My cutting board is secure, it's not moving. <clears throat> I have washed my hands. I make sure that I don't have anything in my way that is gonna be problematic for when I do cook and I've got my bread soaking. So we're gonna let that soak and then fry it up. Okay, so now we have our frying pan. Okay, if you get too much sizzle, turn your heat down. So the butter itself helps to make it really uh, nice and crispy on the edges. It is hot, it's melted. So at this point, I wanna go ahead and add in my sandwich, making sure that it's hot enough to go ahead and fry the sandwich. And we're gonna leave it for about three to five minutes on the one side before we flip it over to the other side to allow for it to melt. You can hear that sizzle. So, Leave it until it's brown on the bottom. Again, about three to five minutes, but keep that flame to medium low after you've melted the butter so that the butter doesn't start to brown. And then carefully flip it over. So you can see we have a really nice crispy edge. You can do this with a regular sandwich with regular pieces of bread if you want to, it doesn't matter. But that really nice crispy edge, I'm gonna push it down a little. You can already see the cheese melting and I'm gonna let that go another three minutes on that side to be able to crisp the other side and then we'll cut it open and we'll see how we did. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check the underside of our sandwich. Always keeping in mind safety, no loose clothing around your uh, flame. Make sure that you really watch your heat around the butter and don't overload the butter in too small of a pan or you can have it splash out and start a grease fire. You don't want that to happen. If you need supervision, uh, have a parent or adult handy, make sure that you get there okay to use uh, the stove top within the house. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take it off, put it onto our cutting board. So you can't smell this um, and you certainly can't taste it, but boy, it smells awesome. So a little bit of an amped up grilled cheese We've got our cheese in there. If you want it melted more, you can go ahead and finish it in the oven, but I didn't want to have my crust brown too much. And that's my Monte Cristo for school lunch.